second gear. Can you have covered up into second gear, please? This is the best job I've ever had. What? I said, this is the best job I've ever had. What? I can't hear you. What? I can't see shit out of it. Hans, was ist das? Es ist nicht einen Pillboxen. Das ist gemoving machen. Hans, ready machen. Geladen anti-tank. Was das Foch ist ein Tank? Oh dear. They've got Peterson. <laughs> All right, Peterson. What do you reckon we do, sir? That was a 150. It's a blasted howitzer. Unless he drowns himself in a cag-filled ditch, he's our problem. Yes. Well, thou shalt not kill, so I'll aim for their kneecaps instead. Very good, Bible. Fire when ready. Ah, oh, my kneecap! Enemy gun destroyed. Yes, lovely. Well done, Bible. Good shooting. Oh, it's uh, not me, sir. I'm merely the instrument, not the hand. Plus, sir, uh, they haven't got any tanks, so shooting a load of infantry is pretty easy to deal with. Captain Wagner, sir, you wanted to see me. Ah, Lieutenant Collier. Meet Private Ellison. He has a brother, you know, a captain in the Second Devons. Is is he dead? No, at least not yet. And with your help, I'd like to keep things that way. What happened is, he went completely mental and charged his men into no man's land. And now they've gotten stuck there. I've tried sending runners, but none of them are getting through. Lieutenant, I know who you are. I know you know what you're doing. Tell me, how fast is your tank? Flat out, I reckon we can push it to three, sir. Sounds perfect. Now, you won't like this, but the private here is joining your crew. He'll be a, a fish out of water and a possible liability, but he knows his brother. And even if he can't reason with him, it should be rather fun to watch. Yes, anyway, he'll teach you the ropes. War Daddy's a veteran. So, uh, good luck. Excuse me, sir. Why, why do they call you War Daddy, sir? I've survived three months out here. This won't be my first tank assault. Now my fourth, actually. Uh, what's your name? N Norman? Norman, that's refreshing. Seemingly everybody else around here is called Tom. Yes, how long have you been in the army, Norman? A eight weeks, sir, but th this is my first day on the, on the line. Um, d do you know where the barber is? Marvelous, well, welcome to tank school. Yes, you'll learn a lot here. Ah, I suppose I'll see you inside the tank in 15 minutes for the big attack then, yes? Yes, marvellous. But uh, I'm just a clock typist. I've, I've never even seen the inside of a tank. Now, I would say don't get too close to anybody in there, but it is rather a tight squeeze, so that can't be helped, yes. Hey! Don't bring those prisoners through this camp! The, there isn't room for them! Captain's log, I've been whisked away to Haven 3 in the Straw system. I have no choice but to find a creature the Metrons call a display. Undoubtedly a dangerous and clever opponent. A displate? Curious. It appears to be made of a metal construction, early 21st century Earth, likely delivered in four to five days. It's with stud attacks that would have destroyed any canvas or paper poster. What a good alternative. I must find a way to defeat it using only the raw materials on this planet. Good. He's figuring it out. I don't understand. I'm a doctor, not a mineralogist. We call your basic physics doctor. He's making a magnet. Metron. Does my appearance surprise you? Not particularly. Killing that displate would be the act of a savage. You should mount it on your wall. You see, displate is about collecting your passions and being inspired. 
With their magnetic mounting system, you can simply and safely fit your display to the wall in as little as 20 seconds. Start by cleaning the surface with the included wipe, then peel and stick the protective leaf. Fit the magnet and your display. They have a wide range of both branded and artistic designs to choose from, including video games like Starfield and Destiny 2, as well as TV and film like Stranger Things and Ahsoka. And if you follow the link on screen now and in the description below, you'll get an extra savings, Kirk. Second gear! By the grace of God, put it in second gear. We've been going for a while now. I imagine we're almost at the German lines. We've got friendly infantry out there. Oh, it's my brother. Um, watch out. What? I said we're, we're right on top of them. It's the second Devons. What? There. What? Watch out, he's right. Oh, bloody hell, stop! I've got something lodged in the track. Oh! Oh, God! I've killed Tom! Does anybody see Captain Ellison? Corporal, find out what that tank's doing! Oh, it's really caused a blockage. How's it looking, Grady? Rogan as fuck, I'd say. <laughs> Don't worry, Grady here can fix anything, can't you, Grady? You can fix it, can't you? Yes. God, it's hot in here. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. It's the carbon monoxide poisoning, isn't it? Yes, yes, funny stuff. Um, well, since you need the fresh air, you take first watch. Grady, get to work. I think they're singing. I, I, I can hear the Germans singing. What do you mean, they're singing? It's Silent Night. I wonder if those Hun know any other hymns. Let's show them what we can do, eh, lads? All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. Everybody hold fire. I don't think they know we're in here. The bastards are on the roof! Which means they're trying to capture this tank. I think we might have a fight on our hands. Can't we, I don't know, send up a distress flare and signal for help? No, no, if we do that, our side will fire everything they've got at us. They won't let one of these tanks fall into enemy hands. Ah, uh, no. Grady, run Norman through that machine gun quickly. We're gonna need it. Right here, Norman. This is what an Norfolk we call a machine gun. Main thing to remember is to hunch your fingers in front of the barrel. Look at that. But Grady, you've got all five fingers. I used to have six. God knows what my mum and sister will think when I get home. Are they going to be mad? Same person. Now! Gentlemen, I, I, I feel that tensions are quite high in this vehicle. Um, and perhaps it's time for us all to sit down and have a, a cup of weak instant coffee and perhaps a slice of cake. No? Fire, Norman! That one's got nothing at all that can hurt us, actually. No, he's just running up to the tank. Yep, and now he's turning around and he's running away again. I put a big fat hole in his back. I can't do it. It's not right. Besides, it looks like Charlie Chaplin with that moustache. But what if he turns out to be some kind of future genocidal dictator or something? You'll fucking ask then. Well, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but I'm feeling a, a little bit, a little bit woozy. No, I'm feeling absolutely fucked, actually. Either we stay in here and succumb to carbon monoxide poisoning, or we open the hatch and risk them getting in. I mean, they've been desperate to do so. They've been banging their fists on this tank for the past hour at least. All right, here we go. Shut 
Now, I know you're all very worried about opening that hatch at a German grenade just flopping down in here, but uh, I've spoken to the big man and, and he's given me assurances that we have nothing to fear from the Germans. Oh, Christ! Well, it's, uh, it's not German, so I guess God is good, but uh, if he isn't a stickler for the details. I can't move. They got me in the balls. Go on without me. But what about you? There's a hatch in the floor. Go! Don't worry, Lieutenant. I think I know what can fix this. Amazing Grace. What have you done, Ellison? Tom! Are you okay, Tom? This is a British trench. Right. You Not never made it past our lines. Tom. We've been banging on the doors for hours. Oh, God. You fools. Okay, what about Tom? Oh. And now my moustache is falling off. Oh, God! Oh, the humanity! <laughs> <laughs>